Okay, let's haul it in, folks. Okay, not too, not too bad of a haul, folks. Got about uh, 20 or so crab in there. It was a blue crab directly from the Chesapeake Bay. It doesn't get any fresher than that. What I'm going to do is hose them down with fresh water and uh, take them into the kitchen and steam them. That's the first step. Okay, before I make the actual omelet, I need to make the sauce. So I have a small saucepan here. A couple of teaspoons of oil. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put in two heaping tablespoons of finely diced white onion or yellow onion I should say that's half of a tomato this is just for one serving a little black pepper a little salt Gonna cook that down for a couple of minutes on a lowish heat. Okay, I don't want to really put any color on this, so I'm not gonna overcook it. That was like a half teaspoon of fresh garlic. I'm also going to put a couple of tablespoons of commercial tomato sauce or actually crushed tomatoes I should say okay I'm going to let this cook down for a couple of minutes okay that only took about five minutes or so I'm going to put some cilantro in there. I'm not going to cook it with the cilantro in there. I'm just going to stir it in. Now an herb like cilantro will really collapse and become nothing if you cook it into the sauce. So I'm just going to leave it like that and put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and add my fresh caught crab. Now this crab is already steamed, so I'm just warming it up basically. Smells nice. Let me taste this. Mm. That's very nice. Very nice and crabby. Okay, I'm going to just keep this in the oven on warm for a couple of minutes while I make the actual omelet. Okay, I'll be using my wife's grandmother's cast iron skillet here. That's two tables, sorry, two teaspoons of butter. Now this is very good. It has the low sides, so you can flip. Uh, you have to use nonstick or cast iron. You can't use stainless steel, really, because it's going to stick like crazy. 
Okay, in the meantime, I'm beating two eggs. Going to move that around so that the egg in the center is the same, same cooked as the outside. In other words, just want to move that around a bit. Trying to bring the raw egg into the center. Gonna go ahead and put down a line of cheese only on one half of the omelet. Just like that. It's gonna be a nice cheesy crabby omelet. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, in the meantime, the sauce with the crab is in the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out, get it ready to put on top. The cheese is melting nicely. I'm going to go ahead and put my crab right on top. That crab is so delicious. Gonna give that another minute just to make sure that cheese is melted. Okay, here she is. This is not the prettiest omelet in the world, but it's gonna be tasty. So what are you gonna do? I have some homemade sauce here. This is salsa verde. And I'll link that at the end of this video. I have a couple of pieces of avocado. This is the Haas avocado. That's why it's not as green as you're probably used to. Not too big. Okay, a couple of small pieces of lemon. Put a little garnish on that, a little cilantro. I have some extra crab here. I do not want to let that go to waste. So I'm going to put that in the back here. That is just too good to throw away, that's for sure. 
Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is just spoon on a little Mexican sour cream. Does it add a little sweetness, a little richness? And there we have it, folks. Fresh cut crab omelet. Life is good. Now let's taste it. Mm. That crab is to die for. Pardon my fingers, I don't have a knife. Oh, man. A little lemon juice. Needs a touch of salt. One more bite. Mm. This is great. Not only is this tasty, but it's healthy. It's all fresh ingredients here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. And if you did, then throw me a friggin' bone here. Throw me a frickin' bone here.